This time on Andy's Motorcycle Obsessions, I want to talk about Ram Air. G'day everybody and welcome back. Now, Dutchie's bike has been set up with this is his KZ1300 uh, and it's been modified and set up with um, what he calls a Ram Air system so on both sides of the front fairing uh, there's intake tubes they're routed through the fuel tank and they um, exit the bottom of the fuel tank and, and uh, pipe via hose into the air box now ram air what, what are we trying to achieve here so obviously this is a naturally aspirated engine this engine is actually a fuel injected version this is a a uh, later model KZ1300, the earlier ones had carburetors, this one's fuel injected. So what are we trying to achieve with Ram Air? We're trying to introduce um, a higher than atmospheric pressure condition so that we are forcing more air into our intake system. Does it work? Yes, it does. Is it practical? No, not really, because what we actually need to, to what we need to try and achieve is converting the kinetic energy into a pressure energy, and we we usually don't drive fast enough to achieve that because whatever you're running into the front of your bike, your engine is consuming uh, at the other end. Now, once you get over certain speeds, uh, and I can show you a bit of a graph that was published by David Visard on uh, ram air that shows you that at normal riding speeds you're not going to see any any gain it's not until you get up you know in well over 100 mile an hour that you start to see some gain and then it's very minimal but let's not let's not uh, poo poo the whole idea because essentially what it is is a cool air intake and um, you see them on on modern sports bikes now in the front fairing they incorporate uh, air intakes so it is, um, it is certainly something that, that uh, is worth pursuing if you wanted to go down that path. But don't think for a minute that you're going to have some sort of ram air effect. Um, in order to be able to convert that kinetic energy into a pressure energy, you need to be able to bring the air to a standstill in the air box. And that's a bloody difficult thing to achieve. And it's why... Formula One cars, drag racing cars, have those massive big bulbous air intakes to try and um, make the most of that energy. And they're going fast enough that they actually do get some gains. Minimal, but they do get some gains. Um, but yes, it is a cold air intake, which means that you will lower the charge temperature of your fuel air mix, um, which means that it'll condense more into that, into that um, volume, and you'll get a bigger bang. So cold air intakes are always worth doing. Anyway, that's just a quick one. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and we'll be back with more from Andy's Motorcycle Obsessions. Bye for now.